Hello, I'm MX5 Bigger, and this is my MX5. So, I bought this car about a year ago. Uh, when I bought the car, I had about 117,000 miles on the car. It was in very, very mint condition. Everything OEM on the car. The car kind of sat for a little bit before I brought it. The owner was an older lady. So she had it since it came out in 1990. She was the original owner. It sat under a cover-up for about five years. Since I bought the car, I put a timing belt, I put fuel pump, I put fuel unit, the right light, a symbol did not work. I still have not put a, a symbol in. I'm going to put one in very soon. I also have put suspension on the car. We have TN coil over the advanced pack that we put in. I just put in about a couple weeks ago. This car actually gets really, really good gas mileage. I put about 20 bucks in to get a full tank. Um, this car has mainly been stationed in Vegas, so gas prices here are pretty, they're okay. I, I want cheaper, obviously. That would be great if we could get cheaper, but they're okay. I'm not going to complain. I haven't driven that many different cars, as far as like built cars or anything like that. I haven't driven too many of them, but this car handles very, very great. And it even handled with blown suspension. Still drove really, really good. It was bouncy and you could feel every, all the impact. But other than that, it's, it's, it drives great. It's Definitely get one. They're definitely a great, 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 great daily. You can slap on turbos. You can do a lot to these cars without having to really build the motor. We've had her for a year, like I said, and we haven't really got around to building her. We have a lot. Of, we have a few parts for her at the house. When I bought the car, let's just say it had a lifter tick. So my brother was like, maybe we can get the lifter tick out with an oil change. We did an oil change and got a little less, like you heard the sound a little less, but it didn't go away. So eventually the lifters eventually just gave, like they just completely went to sh And I had to put all new lifters in. I had to put valve cover gasket. I only had to do that because the car was five sitting for five years and not being driven daily. But if you buy one of these that's been driven daily with decent amount of miles, it will be a great car as long as the owner wasn't abusing it. Um, this build for this car specifically, we're looking at about five to six grand. We have big plans for this car. We're gonna put a turbo on her. We're not gonna do too much power in this car. We're just gonna a fun daily. Get it to about 220, a fun daily, nothing too crazy. To be honest with you guys, I don't really have a name for her yet. I kind of wanted to start building her and I felt like the name would come to me really spending more time with her because I don't really drive her that much. She sits in the garage a lot. I definitely want to take trips in the car and go out of town drive long distances and our team is creative garage we just created a page on youtube so if you guys didn't know that now you guys know go like comment and subscribe on creative garage create tip with the eight. it did come though i'm not gonna lie um it came with two scratches it's unfortunate um it's a scratch on the right mirror and a scratch on the right door nothing too heavy 